Hi, today in this video I'm going to show you how to configure AWS log sources to send logs to vRealize Log Insight Cloud. The first thing we do is come into the log sources. This is where the documentation is. And if I want cloud watch logs, I would click into here. This would give me the step-by-step -step instructions that I need to ingest the cloud watch logs. If I want to do verification to see if I'm already receiving them, I can click on the logs tab and, and see that I'm not getting any data. So what I'll do is go into the AWS management console and it's a Lambda function. Again, I'm just following what's in the instructions. So give you a little visuals. Here we're in Lambda. We're in the region where I want to collect logs from. And then I'm going to create the function. We've added a app to the serverless repository. So it's pretty quick and easy to set this up. I'll just search for log and this is my function. There's just a couple of values I need to add and one of them is the API token and the URL. And then I just click on deploy. It'll take a few seconds to deploy. Once the function is deployed, I can add a trigger for the log messages. Here I'm specifically collecting cloud watch logs, but if I wanted to use this function to collect like all the logs for this region, I could also do that. I would just add a trigger. We're just doing a subset of the logs, so I'm choosing cloud logs and I am specifying a log group. If you have a main cloud trail group or a main cloud watch group, you would select that. And then I can add a filter name. And now I'm getting logs. If I did want to add more, like if I had this more of a general function, I would just add a trigger and I could add SNS or Athena or whatever. Probably cloud trail is a very common one. I would just add those all and there would just be multiple triggers under this one function. Once I have that configured, I just wait a few minutes and then I can verify log flow. <laughs> 